Hey there, so I uh, want to show you a pretty simple method for uh, doing what we call um, OLL. Now, OLL is when you have uh, solved the bottom two layers of the cube, like so, and you need to start working on the top layer. What you want is for the top layer to be completely white. Then you can proceed with, with placing the pieces correctly. So, um, doing so goes through a few phases. Uh, I'll show you what to look for, and then we can later talk about what you need to do in each of the phases. So the first phase is where you have uh, none of the cross with the right color, so you only have the middle. Uh, the corners don't matter, they may be white, so uh, don't let them fool you. If you have, you right to, to begin with, you're only looking for the cross. So um, it's only when you get the cross that you actually care about the corners. So, uh, currently we have none of the cross. The next step after that is where you have a wedge. The next step after that is where you have a line. And the next step after that is where you have the cross. Yeah. So now when you have the cross, the next step is the fish, which we, which we call soon. Uh, and then finally, you're done. Right. So, so, uh, so that's those are the phases we're going through. So, in order to do this method, we only need two algorithms. The first algorithm we need is this one. So, we pull down the front, and then we do what is called a sexy move, which is moving the right up, the top layer, moving the right back down, moving the top layer back, and moving the front back. That is called a sexy move, the, the middle part, if we exclude the front things. So I've written it in algorithmic notation on your screen. Uh, I assume you can read that. If not, you should probably uh, like uh, look into that. Yeah. So I'll show you again. We do this one down, like so. So front layer, right layer, top layer, right layer back, Top layer back, front layer back. Okay, so that's the first algorithm. Now I'll show you where to use that. So we remember the first position we could be in is if none of the cross is done. If that is the case, then you need to do the algorithm I just showed you. So front, right, top, right back, front, uh, top back, front back. And then we have the wedge. Now if we're in the wedge, we must point the wedge in the top left corner. Yeah, so, so the wedge is up here. So the front is this side where there's nothing, and the wedge is up here. Once you're in that case, you do the same algorithm. So you do front, right, top, right, back, top, back, front, back. And we have the line. So, yeah, now we have the line. And again, we, are, we don't care about the corners. You might very well have an H, for example, where, where this is an H. You don't care about that. You only care about the line. So what you want to do is pay, take the line and orient it so it's horizontal to you. Yeah. So it shouldn't be like this. It should be like this. Yeah. It doesn't matter which side you pick. You just pick a side, and then you put it like that. Once you have it like that, you do the algorithm again. See, it's very simple. You just do the same algorithm a few times. So you do front down, right, top layer, right back, top layer back, and front back. Okay, so now we have the cross. That was simple, right? Now that we have the cross, we need a different algorithm. So I'll show you that algorithm now, and then we'll resume with the cross later. So the next algorithm we'll be looking at is called soon. Uh, and it is named actually the same as this top where we have a fish. So the fish is called soon apparently, and um, and the algorithm goes like this. So we turn the right layer, and we we actually there's some notes I'll give. Uh, the right layer we keep on turning back and forth. So each turn it's like back forth, back forth, and the top layer always goes goes the same direction. So I'll show you now. So we take the right layer up, top layer, right layer down, 
top layer, right layer up, two times the top layer, and then back, back down. So it's up, down, up, down. And the top layer is one, one, two. Yeah, I'll show you again. So up, down, up, down. And uh, I'll just show you the, 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 the it's sibling, which is called the anti soon. It's the same algorithm, only it's flipped. Yeah, so, so instead of here we turned the right layer before, now we turn the left layer. So this is called the anti soon. It's when the, yeah, you, you don't need to know this, you just need to know it's, it's basically the same algorithm I'll show you here. So to do this, you just left layer up, left layer down left layer up and down so it's exactly the same thing so you don't need to worry about it being two algorithms just like so and like so exactly the same thing right so <clears throat> so i'll show you again right layer up top layer one right layer down top layer one right layer up top layer two and right layer down and then we have done the soon so now I'll show you where we can use the soon and the anti soon to solve the cube. So now we are back at the cross we were at before. So this cross here. Uh, and we're wondering what to do. Well, from this point on, we'll just do soon and anti soon. And before the cross, we only do the other algorithm, which has the sexy move. So it's very simple, you just remember before that, do the one with sexy move. After you have a cross, do the soon. That's pretty simple. Okay, so what we do when we have a cross on the top, we look at the sides, yeah, the sides of the top layer. So here there are two whites, here there are no whites, here there are two whites, and here there are no whites. So we pick one of the sides that doesn't have a white piece on it. So we don't pick this one or this one because they have white pieces, but this one is fine. So if we pick this one, we can do this. We do a soon or an anti soon. it doesn't matter. We just do one of them. And then we do like so, we've done a soon. And now that we've done a soon, we have soon, the fish. Now, the good thing, the reason the fish is called soon is because you can solve it with a soon. That's pretty nice. Um, so, what you do when you get the fish is you, this is, this is a rule you, you'll need to remember because you'll always get soon. Um, you take the fish and point it towards you like so, right? So you can see the tip of the fish is pointing towards you. Then we look at this piece here and this piece here. One of them is white. In this case, this is white. So if this is white, we need to do a soon. If this is white, we need to do an anti soon. So we turn it this way where the white piece is, and then we do a soon. And then we're done. Okay, that's nice. There are a few more cases that we need to look at because there are there there are some that need to be handled a little bit differently. So I'll sh cut to one of those now. So there's this situation which which is called the bow tie. So when you have the bow tie, you have two whites on these sides. So you you might if you're looking at the other side you don't. So you turn around until you see the two white lights, I guess. Then you pick one of the sides, which has a light, for instance, this one, and then you do a soon on this side. So if, if, it's, if you pick this side, you do a soon on that layer, uh, on that side. If, it's, uh, if it, you pick this one, you do an anti-soon on this one. So let's do a soon on this one because we like soon. And then you get to soon, and you know how to solve soon, right, with a soon. Uh, with an, or actually, this is an anti-soon, but you get the point. Okay, the next case is when we have this pattern. So if we have the cross and two corners now we're, uh, that are next to each other, we remember the bow tie had them across from each other, and this one has them here, and soon only has one. So if we have this one, where there are two corners solved, or two corners right, then you look at these two pieces. So either the whites are right here in the front, both of them, or they are on the sides, both of them. So there's one here where the orange is, 
and there's one here where the blue is, or the green is, sorry. Hard to see in this light. So, what we do is, if they are facing in front, we'll need to do something. If they're facing to the side, we'll need to do something else. If they're facing in the front, like here, we do a soon on this, or we can do an anti-soon. It doesn't matter. You pick one. If you do that, you get to the fish. That's good. So I'll show you the other case now. I just need to find it. So here we have the same situation, but with the white dots on the side. Yeah, so they are on the side rather than in the front. And it's the same top. So if we have this case, then we pick one of the sides where the white dot is. I'll, I'll like this one because uh, then I get to do a soon. So if we pick this one, we do a soon on this layer. So we do a normal soon. Yeah, the one opposite of the white dot. And here we do the one opposite of the white dot too. So that would be an anti soon. So soon. And then we get the fish again, which we can solve easily. So those are the basic cases you need to do an OLL. Those are all the basic cases you need. After this, you can solve the top layer color. You then need to learn PLL afterwards, but that is what you need to do OLL. Hope you can uh, enjoy this tutorial and uh, hope it helps. Yeah, good luck.